Hi everybody, it's Hanaki here again and today I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to make the Japanese shoji screens that you see in many Japanese camps. So I think we should just get into it right now. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in a, a nice flat spot. I've tried to pick it as flat as I could because for a first time of doing shoji screens it, it's easier to do it when the ground is fairly flat. I mean later on when you know what you're doing you can try more slopey ground. Anyway, we're losing the light here. Uh, my computer's going to be freezing I can see. We're losing the light here so I need to get going. Um, I'm going to start by putting down just some basic floors. Now, I tried this before and there seems to be much more item snapping than there used to be so I'm going to put some extra floors in and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so I've just put up a basic six blocks and now I'm going to put in some walls. Now normally I would use these red barn walls just because they seem to work for everything but at the moment I don't really like that white door frame there so I'm going to go for the the tin walls because look they have a really nice wooden what we're looking at is is the color of the struts so let me just put one there oops so what we're looking at here is the struts, which are all wooden, because the struts are what we'll see. We won't see the tin part. So what we want to do is move this piece of floor here, but because the snapping has been turned up a lot and I can't see the option to turn it off, even though I thought they brought that in recently, what we're going to do is remove things around it. But I've put on walls on, on all three pieces so that I am able to put the floors back in later. So I'm going to get rid of that one and that one, and that one, and also the walls here. That way this block will be able to move without snapping to stuff but I'll still have these other pieces so I'll be able to put the pieces back in after. Alright, so what we want to do, what we want to do is we want to put another piece of wall in front of this one and facing the same way. See. Now you know with double walling, so you can get wallpaper on both sides, you have them facing in opposite directions, as we got there. And then if I was to put wallpaper on them, you'd see it on both sides. Okay. But what we want to do this time is have a wall on this side, but facing the same way as this one. But we want it in a way that they sort of glitch into each other, so you can see this back one through the front one and that'll all become a bit more obvious once I've done it. Alright, so at the moment this floor is lined up with the back of that piece and I want to line it up with the front or just before the front of that piece. Well, let's try that. I'm just going to grab it and slightly go back only a little bit. It seems to be raising up a bit which is a bit annoying but we'll persist. Alright, that might not be quite enough. I'll, I'll show you why that's not quite enough. So if I was to bring my floor back in here... Oh no, that is actually going to snap. Okay, so you can see that's just wanting to snap straight in there. Alright, so... You can see now that those two pieces are glitched through each other. And if you look at the middle one, the new piece of floor was just past the center point. And if it doesn't click on, just go a little bit further even closer to the front of that piece. But anyway, so you can't see much going on at the moment, but here's what happens. And you can't do this till after they've come together because it doesn't work. Um, we're going to put wallpaper on this middle piece 
and just watch when I apply it you'll see that the middle piece becomes a bit wider oh you didn't well now I'm a liar anyway so what we're going to look at now there you go a shoji screen so if I now put back in the other floors okay so see how these ones are not at the same level we want them all to be pulled out to the level of this front sticky eddy one okay so we've got this gap that's not going to be there forever so don't worry so now we go back to our walls and we're going to put them on okay now obviously the back one's not on yet don't worry about that because now that the front walls are on now we can move these back did you know you could move these while you're standing on them I didn't know that I might leave this one Oh, I don't have to because now I've got the screen on. All right. All right, so now there's no gap. And we're going to try and put the back one back on this one. Okay, what we'll do is we'll take that one off first. And then we'll put the second one on see it's a bit of fiddling around so I'm going to move that to the new position see now that these walls are here it clicks onto it so I'm going to now move this floor to the same position as that one now I should be able to put that one on there we go now move them back in so now what we want to do whoops is find the center piece of wood oh I didn't have a back one on that one all right well in that case it's the back piece of wood and we're going to apply the wallpaper and same with this one this one has got three pieces see there's a back one on that one we're going to find the center piece that one and apply the wallpaper now we got shoji screens aren't they nice And what you can then do with the shoji screens, if I'm going to keep the middle one as a door, let's try changing some of these other ones to other things. Actually, I'm going to keep the front one as it is. Whoops, don't do that. Alright, so now I'm going to change this middle piece into a solid. a window one a solid so there's one sort of pattern that you can have I'm going to change this middle one into a solid also oh my goodness I'm inside the wall okay so I mean that's one way that you can have it or if you change now this front one be careful not to remove it change it for a solid so now it gives you a different sort of pattern which is the more I want to say traditional but I mean I know it's not exactly right but it's pretty nice still it's pretty close and of course there's all the different if you switched it out for the different kinds of walls each wall has a slightly different pattern so we've also got I mean this one which is the window one and that could be nice if you were going to hang like pictures or something in the middle then of course if you changed it for a completely different wall let's have a look at all the walls now that one doesn't really have a frame oh this one's quite nice Showing me is that one. What happened here? I changed the wrong one. 
silly. Oh, I can see what I did. Alright, I changed the middle one instead of the front one. Alright, so I'm going to change the front one to that. That's better. So that's also quite nice. Make sure I change the front one. I've tried this one before, but in fact I prefer to use the two half walls when I change this one out. What I'll do is I'll take that one off and I'll put the half walls on. Oh, now it's see now it's not going to click on because the wallpaper is currently on, which makes it thicker. So we'll take that off, and then we should be able to. What's going on here? Oh, that's because we didn't line it up to the front. Okay. Move that to the front. What happened? And then move that to the front as well. And now I should be able to put it on. There we go. And then if I change that middle one again back to wallpaper. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Let me change this one. I'll make the middle one a solid. Oh, that's right. This one didn't have a back one, so there's no middle. I'm going to do the. This one as a solid. Oh, hang on, I'm still on wallpaper. That's not going to work, is it? Ah, uh, oh, that is a solid. That one's a solid. So now let me change this panel here, make sure I've got the right one. What's happening? Okay, so we got up to glass walls. Now that one obviously isn't going to work. This one doesn't have any struts. This one does. Now see that one, it looks a lot like like the tin shack wall, so I don't know if I'd bother with that one. And then there's window which could be nice if you were going to hang a picture or something in it the door I think that door frame is way too thick for shoji screens so I wouldn't use that so the only one I'd use out of them is that one this one you can actually use it looks very similar to the tin shackles oh, that one's interesting anybody? See now, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. That might be alright if you were to put something in those little frames. But right now, let's not worry about that. Okay, so, see, you got to be careful which one you're selecting because, because it's a window, I'm sort of managing to click on the middle one there, so just make sure it's the front one. Okay, and of course we've got this one with the white frames. Yeah, let's make sure I'm clicking on the right one here. That's the one we're on. This one doesn't really have struts, so it's not much use. This one, so this one has different patterns, but the struts are made of metal. I don't know if I like that. So really, the main one that I use is this one. Just because it has the nice wooden beams, which look nice with the shoji screens. And then I use this one. And then I also use 
this one. These are the three that I like to use. So the shack, uh, no, not shack, the tin shed walls, the jail wall, and the glass walls. I think they look the most realistic. What do you think? And of course, if you were to change the wallpaper colour, so let's make sure we're getting the middle one here. So, I mean, you could do it a different base colour, but most of these wouldn't look very realistic. But I also sometimes use this wooden one. Oh, what happened? I must have changed the back one, I think. Silly, silly. Alright, let's try that again. The middle one is the one I'm trying to get. There we go. Eh. I'm go with that one. It goes better with this one. Let's try. There we go. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. And we'll change this one back to white. So these are the three types of wall that I used in my main Japanese house, which I have to refilm because when I filmed it originally I did terrible filming, so anyway. But these are the three main, uh, the three wall types that I used and I think they look pretty good. And I did learn the method from, I'm pretty sure it was Stolia Sweet Roll. So shout out to Stolia Sweet Roll, who is a very, very, very clever builder and who can teach you a lot. But um, since I learned it, I've been trying my own stuff and changing it so that it's not just a complete pilferization of somebody else's method. And that's what happens when you learn a new method of something. Of course, you're going to learn it the way that the person who taught you does it and then as you get to know what you're doing you change it around a little bit until it becomes your own. The main point is that we're all trying to get to the same end product which is to make a beautiful house. So that's how to make shoji screens. I hope that I managed to explain it in a clear way so that you will be able to try it yourself. If you have any questions at all, please ask me in the comments and I will I will try and explain and I could make another video or if you're on PC I could come and show you in person if you really want. So I just want to say have a really great day and I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe just to help me get my algorithm going so that I can uh, get more viewers and spread the word a little bit further. Anyway, I will see you around Appalachia, and until then, this is Haniki signing out. See you later.